Well, hello there. Welcome back to episode four of SARS, the solo achievement ranger speedrun. And yes, I'm well aware it acronyms the SARS and the uh, <laughs> yeah, let's just move on. Um, we won't, rather than, you know, risk potential lawsuits for the uh, acronym. Um, <clears throat> so you join me here, back where we um, ended the last episode. And I am about to zoom off to Baragos before I um, make the trip to Cloakwood. Because I have quite a bit of money uh, burning a hole in my pocket. And I, I've got quite a few little um, bandit scalps waiting to be sold. So I am going to buy all of the arrows. I will probably um, refresh the number of charges in my necklace of missiles because that's going to see quite a bit of action in the... Uh, mine in Cloakwood and um, we'll just see how we go from there really um, so during the course of this video we will probably not do the Cloakwood mine itself because we have to get through about four areas to get there um, but we will try and get through as much of the Cloakwood as possible so Let's just do a little bit of uh, shopping first. And then we can get back to the carnage. Oh, there you are. So all things considered, our Power Ranger is not doing too badly. He's got a lot of money, a good set of kit, and uh, with a, a smattering of good fortune, we may be able to um, whack through the next uh, area in uh, fairly short order. Hello, Officer Vi. I, I, you might want all of these, since you know I'm doing your job for you. Um, I'll, I'll take all the money you give me. Thanks very much. Okay, so I think it will probably be a good idea to make sure I get all of the potions I want to have for the next encounter before I blow the rest of my money on um, on arrows so I shall pay a visit to High Hedge see whether I get waylaid by bloody flins, as I usually do. Hey Kavan, I'm not interested in uh, hiring you, I'm afraid. This is a solo run. As good an archer as you are. Oh, that'd be a, a skeleton. And other 130 experience points to the good. Only about another 27,000 to go to the next level, but hey. Why do I live in such a town? He's such a charming uh, gentleman, isn't he? He's right. I'm going to have all of the fire resistance potions. 
I will take I already have one of those so I will grab another one uh, I'll take the other potion of freedom as well now uh, do they not have any other magic shielding potions apparently not I will take the protection from magic potion because that is always a good thing to have as a non-spellcaster um, and even if I don't use it now I will definitely be able to use it later okay that will do nicely and let's just pop them where they need to go um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah why not let's let's recharge that now why do i live in such a pissant town so that will cost me i guess a, a net four thousand gold but i would rather have a fully recharged necklace of missiles than risk running out in the middle of Cloakwood. So it is money well spent. It will be done. Oh, what's that? Will that be Oh oh it's not a flind. Right, let's check out my uh, new bow and see if it's any better at hitting things than my old one. Well that's a good start. I think it has a slightly better speed factor than the uh, composite longbow, so... Even though it does one less damage... I think we're going to be able to live with that, aren't we? And of course, it, it, it fits in with our aesthetic, because it's nice sleek silver okay then so back to our good friend mr thundammer presuming is still open uh, oh he may be shut it's 10 o'clock we'll chance our arm and if not we can always have a a little bit of a nap in the jovial juggler and pick it up in the morning He's gone to bed for the night, so I'm not going to risk. It will be done. Stealing anything. Not a problem. So we're probably going to bump into Gurk here. So he's going to give us a, a quest about a cloak we are going to um, bump into in Cloakwood. Uh, I don't need to be extravagant on this occasion since I only have the one hit point to recover. With ease. I wonder if Thunderhammer has found the cure I yet. You oh, he has! Aha! Uh -huh. So there goes the Iron Crisis. And at the bottom, you see he has a slightly more expensive weapons that won't break. But since I'm 
already sorted out for melee weapons. I'm not going to bother about that. Instead, I am going to blow a load of money on some very decent plus two arrows. And let's grab another stack of those as well. Because we do like our bitey arrows, don't we? And I've still got a huge amount of money left. Let's just see how we're doing. Okay, not going to need them anymore. And I'll just get another 10 just to top up that stack. And then we are going to be yeah, pretty well ready to go, aren't we? I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. Yeah, just another 10 bitey arrows. And I think we are good to go. Oh, am I not allowed to use that? Oh, okay. Oh, never mind then. I guess we won't be uh, spending uh, any money on that. Oh well. That's fine. No worries. Um, and actually, let's let's save the cheap arrows for cheap enemies. Yeah, because some enemies really don't rate Jeez. plus two arrows, do they? Okay, so let's just have a one final check in here. So we have the free action potions and the potions of explosion. A few reserve healing and antidote potions, which are always useful. And we have our magic blocking and fire resistance potions. So I, I think we're good to go for the next stage of our adventure, which is the Cloakwood. Alright then, so in the first area, this is, according to the wiki anyway, known as the Cloakwood Lodge. Uh, there aren't many um, super interesting encounters in here. Um, Girk, who he bumped into in the Jovial Juggler, this is where he lost his cloak to a uh, bunch of paltry Tasloi. And there's about six or eight of them. And one of them should have a fairly natty cloak. Um, and I'll tell you more about that when I loot it. Four down, probably another four to go. That would be the cloak. Oh. So let's just polish off the. Oh. I guess that makes nine in total. Come on, you and me, let's go. And he takes 20 piercing damage. Oh no. Oh. There we go, that's a choker, isn't it? It's amazing. Rangers are almost competent in combat. If you give them the best gear in the game. Um, so this is uh, Girk's cloak, which I can't identify because you know, I don't have the law skill. Um, but if you look here, normally I would tell you not to um, equip stuff that you've not identified. But I know what this is. And that very interesting looking icon in my portrait 
tells you that I am non-detectable to magic. Which is quite a useful thing to have, so... We will wear this until we find something better. And uh, pretty much the only thing that's going to be better than this for me is... Um, the nymph cloak that we will get from uh, rescuing the nymph from Ragefast when we get to Baldur's Gate. But that will be uh, a video or two from now. So the other noteworthy encounter in this particular part of uh, Cloakwood is right here. Um, Aldeath Sash and Star, he is um, one of the leaders of the Merchant League in Baldur's Gate. And if you side with him and do a few jobs for him, um, he will help you out in uh, Baldur's Gate. Um, but he's been going around murdering druids, and I'm a ranger, and I don't approve of that kind of thing. And he has that um, lovely plus one um Bastard Sword with a plus three versus shape changes. So um sorry buddy uh but your goose is cooked. You there identify yourselves mm -hmm. Yeah I don't believe you but, you know, I'm going to pretend I'm going to help you anyway. I have no quarrel with those who respect my forest. Uh-huh. Oh, what, what a shame, Aldeath. Um, I guess I'm going to have to... murder you like the uh, little... Dog you are. And I'll you know, just steal all your stuffs. So that's the uh, Condor plus one. I'll get it identified later. And that's a nice little potion of heroism, which you can go in there. And I will keep the diamond. It's worth 500 gold, so that shall do nicely. Um, mm, these guys. Hello. Don't really have too much to say. Um, I don't think I can bash myself into the the safe that's in here or the chest that's in here you need quite a high um, uh, on open lock skill so yeah not happening there's a wand or something in there which is qu quite valuable amongst other things alright so moving on so to get to the next uh, stage of the Cloakwood, we have to move off the north end of the map. And we will run into a couple of nice random encounters. A couple of giant spiders, probably. Usually hang out in this area. Um, good opportunity to test my uh, racial bonus to hit. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, I, I'm getting Tazley instead of uh, giant spiders. Okay. Well, we ought to be okay in melee.
Hmm. One of the uh, consequences of killing Aldeath at this point is that we will bump into his brother in Baldur's Gate and he has a very very good um, plus two heavy crossbow um, which makes him quite difficult to kill so and he's out for revenge funnily enough yeah Corrin he's a fighter thief kind of guy um, flirts relentlessly with Safana two critical misses in a row against the paltry Tasloy honestly man um, yeah good archer passably decent thief and quite fun to have around with ladies in the party uh. he's a bit of a ladies man or so he'd like to think at any rate right okay that's Cloakwood Lodge let's go to Cloakwood Spider Nest of course I have Ooh, all right so There is a trap, a web trap, round about here. But if I just go straight for the exit, I will set it off um, at the risk of... Um, excuse me, go seas. <coughs> oh! Do pardon me. Um... I've got lots of hit points and, you know, a good armor class and if push comes to shove, plenty of um, antidote potions. So, oh, let's have at the... So far, so good. <laughs> the critical miss bug is catching. It's only two hit points. That's okay. Don't get poisoned. job as they say is a good one I will take four etacaps worth of experience for one healing potion any day of the week marvellous I can't it say because it's in the middle of right anyway Right then. The on well, the only way out of this particular area is across the top. Um, 
edge of the map and to get through there you need to successfully navigate your way past plenty of spiders and um, a few web traps so I will almost certainly be needing one of these and actually I'll, I'll just chuck all of them in my inventory and I will pop all of those out as well and put them in my quick item bar. I won't use that until I know I definitely need it. Um, so Tiber Excuse me, please let me speak before you attack. Very unwisely decided to come in here with his brother and um because he found a nice two handed sword which is very good against spiders, he thought, hmm, let, let, let's clear the cloak with the spiders, and it hasn't ended well. Mm -hmm. So, I'll accept the quest, and we'll see how we go, really, won't we? Um... So, lots and lots of spiders, and lots of lots of traps. Just as well, I got a critical hit on that first thing, hey? Right, uh, let's run out of that area with all of the web trapping. Uh, let's pop one of these now, because otherwise we're going to find this area incredibly annoying. So yeah, we're, we're not peeing around anymore. We've, we've, we've got the plus two arrows. And anything that gets in our way is going to get one in the face. So down here, there's another one of those horrible um, zombie rings. But this uh, scimitar is well worth um, getting identified. Because it's a plus two scimitar. Ah, oh, you're only a giant spider. If you're a face spider, I'd be a, a little bit more worried. So it is at this point where you see where the benefit of choosing giant spider as your racial enemy as a ranger starts to pay off in spades because... This area is crawling with them. Um, and they are worth a considerable amount of experience points. Mm -hmm. So down here we just loop around we will start to find not just these nice huge spiders but we will also find some phase spiders who are able to dimension door through the shadow plane and there's one and just appear bang next to you Onward. anyone who has watched 
the video of my useless level 10 thief Harrison trying to knock off the these guys um, will barely be able to believe their eyes looking at the difference because oh my it's just so much easier with a ranger who actually knows what he's doing this is why I have the free action potion up because I really don't want to uh be getting trapped by things, by, you know, webs. Oh, is that a saw spider? Right, these guys are permanently hasted. They are evil as the proverbial. And this will be a challenge even for someone who is quite good in combat. Hmm, gorgeous. That was quite impressive. And 2,000 XP. Right, uh, just checking. Yeah, we're doing okay. There's two of these buggers in there. And since I got the free action potion up, oh, I'm gonna take a quick save as soon as the music allows me to. Okay, come on. You can do it. Really? <sighs> well, that torn it. It's not going to allow me to save game until uh, that script is done. So... Uh, might as well just have a quick wander around and, you know. Kill another couple of spiders while we're at it. Get a few more XP. Set off some more traps. Because there are so many spiders in there. I, I don't really want to go in there without having saved first. So Let's just clear out the area behind the... Uh, behind the nest before we go in. Come on, there should be spideys up here. Huh, interesting. Ah, well, I'll, I'll take that as a quick save. Oh, now you show me a spider. Just lying in wait in the trees. Right. Let's put our melee weapons on. And take a deep breath for luck. And let's um, pray for rain. And when in doubt, more fireball. Yeah, fisticuffs are inevitable, so, you know. I'm not an arachnophobe. Okay, I will, since he's right on my uh, doorstep, try and charm. Here, boy! Here, boy! Okay, that didn't work, did it? All right. I guess I don't need the meat shield. 
I will chuck another fireball there because I know there are spiders in that area that I can't see. But it's a cheap trick just to... Kill them off screen. Oh, lovely. Where are you? Oh, Etta Caps. Uh, you go first. You go next. Lovely. Um, oh, it's not quite everyone. I thought that was another soul spider for a second. Yeah. Any more for any more? No. Nope. So that was almost 10k in XP. All told. And in here we have... Want the frost, nice fire opal ring, a cursed ring, which I'm not going to bother with, this lovely um, plus two spider bane, and this would be Chalak. Uh, hmm. Is it really worth? Oh, I suppose I could put that back, couldn't I? And come back for it later. Do I really need the experience points that much? I guess I don't. So if you were stupid enough to come in here, then yeah. I have no sympathy. Right. With ease. I may very well ditch the jewelry. Uh -huh. Okay, so while I still have that free action potion up, I will uh, rush towards the exit up here. Setting off all of the traps. Killing all of the etta caps. Don't do that. Thank you. Oh, there's a There's a shower of them in here as well. Can you cut out with the critical missing? Apparently not. They absolutely are not worth a fireball, but I will give them, well I was going to give them an arrow, but he just decided to wait for them to come up and give him a kiss instead. another trap around here somewhere 
Yeah. That's why I have the free action potion. And here we go. Cloakwood. Area 3. With ease. Right, I'm just going to take a quick save and we will have a quick rest because it's been quite some time. And again, the idea is to find the exit over here somewhere. Um, and there are a few interesting enemies in here. Um, there's a unique Karma Dryad, I think. And this is where we will find some uh, Shadow Druids as well. He's a potential companion. A bit annoying. A bit evil. Comes with baggage. Can't be asked with him. Hmm. Is it the next area where we have the Harmer Dryad? I guess we'll find out sooner or later, won't we? So, yeah, I, th I just, I don't think we can go to the next area from here. Oh no, we can. Okay. So the, the actual mine is here. Um, don't think there's too much I can really be bothered with in that area. So, you have been by of course I have. So, let's teach these spiders the errors of their ways, and, you know, grab another thousand experience points or so. Not a problem. <laughs> Excellent. Right, so in here... Uh, this end is the, uh... Not a problem. It's where we'll find the... The Iron Throne Mine in Cloakwood that we need to shut down. Uh, and between there and where we are right now are a few wyverns and uh, a few enemies here or there. The Harmer Dryad is down here somewhere. She's quite a tough enemy in that she can cast Dire Charm and things like that so not going to really bother with her. Come on then, want some? So if you listen carefully, you may be able to hear the flapping of the wings of these baby wyverns. They're worth quite a lot of XP, so... Yeah, maybe worth killing a few of them to try and get the next level before I hit the next quite nasty encounter before I actually enter the mine itself. Right. So it's amazing you, you'd think things with poison bites would be uh, rather more immune to uh, weapons that do poison damage. Okay, move over to melee. 
Hmm. So we will try and grab this next level. If it means we have to go into the Wyvern Cave, uh, I guess we'll have to do that. After all, we do have plenty of uh, antidote potions. Should the need arise. If you have a party, you can go across the bridge and you know, finish exploring this area. But um, I'm not going to bother because... We want to hurry things along as, as best we can. So even skipping a load of the content, we ought to uh, hit the experience point cap uh, long before we uh, get to the final encounter with Saravok. Which, as it happens, is not actually too far away. Once we clear the... Clear the Cloakwood Mine. Uh, that's another guard, isn't it? few of them. Don't think I normally uh, see that many guards. What are you? Just a normal wolf. Oh, critical hit. Uh -oh. <laughs> right. Just to sweep around the rock here. quick check of my record yeah we will definitely be getting a new level when we come out of here right I will try and charm one of the wyverns um, but we'll see how things go Right, first things first, when in doubt, lay down a fireball. And try and charm you. Alright, that didn't work. Kill the weak. Oh, he can't be affected. Right. Uh, 
I don't have much room to work with here, so I am going to go back outside and run like heck. It will be done. Oh, and of course I run straight into a random encounter. Hmm. He's going to be easiest to call first, isn't he? So, what are you doing? I don't know why he just stood still waiting for the bloody tiny pseudo dragons to eat his face off. Right, there's my level. And as amazingly large as these things are, they're fairly slow. Which means you can give them a big old run around. Fire damage. It, it's a big, huge, fecking pseudo dragon, Ian. I think even I could hit that. from like 20, 30 feet. What's wrong with you? Are you one, are you vulnerable to magic missile, I wonder? Not really. <sighs> okay, dodge. Go for the one with slightly fewer hit points. Okay, that's one. Ooh. Oh, good. I resisted the poison. I'll take one of those. Because I can sell it back at Temple. And... Excellent. Well, it could have been worse, couldn't it? Uh... Let's just pop that there. There may be some more in there. So I'll do the level up first. Okay, some more hit points. Always nice. Slightly better saving throws. And not a problem. Yeah, I thought there was another baby in here. So you'd think there'd be more to loot in here, but uh, unfortunately it's just that poor dead adventurer there. So he has, yeah, plate mail, arts of wonder fear. Uh, water opal, garnet. 
not massively valuable to be perfectly honest I'm going to grab them anyway because uh, actually I'll dump that and take that because before I go into the mines area we'll have one final check in At the friendly arm. You have been by enemies and must oh, that's that. That's fantastic. Do I really want to fight them? Maybe not. I am not well at all. Yeah, let's get out of here. And get waylaid again. Oh no. It will be done. That's fine. That will that will do nicely. So I'll identify and sell this lot, and I'll take that to my friend down at the temple, outside of Baragost. And while I'm at it, I might as well top up my arrows as well. After all, I'm about to make a fairly substantial amount of money. And I don't have anything better to spend it on, so... It will be done. Uh, I want... Identify, identify, identify... And identify. I think we're still okay for potions, aren't we? It will be done. It will be done. My inn is open to all who behave themselves. Mm -hmm. So, nice amount of money, especially for that. Yeah, that gives you free action, plus two to hit and damage. Very, very nice indeed. Um, I'll sell that. I'll sell that, 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 and that. Fabulous. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Let's have a bit of luxury. As darkness falls, your mind drifts back to events past. Oh. And to triumphs well deserved indeed. A fortified camp secluded and guarded from the entire coast. I'm feeling all nostalgic. Pickings before your guile. All manner of bandit and brigand move about here, but you may as well be invisible amongst them. Your recollections are interrupted by a powerful gust of wind. Yeah, I'll do. Okay, so now I have the ability to slow poison as well. Um, yeah, fantastic. Um, might have been nice before I got into the spider infested woods. Um, Not a problem. Uh, since we're here, I might as well identify those two things as well. Yeah. 
Not a problem. Better cult guide your eye on your travels. So Condor is quite a nice little sword um, with this bonus versus shapeshifters. If you don't have that specialization yourself, it's quite good to give it to um, Ajantis, the the paladin who does have that weapon specialization. And this is Gurk's cloak. So, yep. Non-detectable by magic means. So, yeah. Better than no cloak at all. It will be done. So, while we are in the mood... We shall just very quickly swing by Veragost. Get some more cheap experience points. So I'll go to the temple first. With ease. Without being waylaid remarkably. And give him be done. Don't touch me. I'm super important. Nice chunk of cash for the Wyvern head. Ta very much indeed. And Don't touch me. I'm super important. What's he got? Mm. Yeah, we'll ju we'll just grab one more of those to make sure we have that back to a a full stack. And we shall not a problem. Head back to Baragost. So yeah, we'll get thirty more of each. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. Do, do, do. So I want three of those and three of those. Ta very much. And that will do for now, won't it? So it's a you have been waylaid by enemies. Of course be I've been waylaid. Yeah. Silver, not interested in that. If it was a pearl necklace. Yeah, I might I might be interested. Yeah, carry carry something worth looting. Otherwise, I'm not interested. Uh, a friend scroll. Okay. Boring. I 
like a sleep skull is even more boring. Okay. Not a problem. And on we go. Will we be way late again? No. Alright. So, I will just scoot to the edge of the map and find a, a nice, quiet place to have a little bit of a nap. Because before we go in here, we want to make sure we are fully rested. Because the... The mines are a little bit of a uh, little bit of a troll. So let's have full hit points. Recover all of our spells. Oh, and that's a that's a good start, isn't it? So oh well, more more experience points. I dread to think what this little encounter would have been like with uh, Harrison, my useless thief, who couldn't hit the ground without gravity. Try, try again. Excellent. Right. Now, since I'm playing a ranger and not a thief, there is no point at all trying to be subtle or clever with uh, my entry into the mine. Um, which means just cause as much mayhem and carnage as possible, as quickly as possible. <laughs> And keep quick saving so you don't have to keep reloading every single little encounter. So we have four people about here. One of them has the uh, Paws of the Cheetah, which is a pair of boots that doubles movement speed. Uh, very, very nasty. Because, uh, yeah, you know, you just can't run away. Um, so there will be... Yes profligate use of fireball in trying to initiate contact because there are two 
spellcasters in here who while they are relatively weak in terms of hit points uh, uh, I may very well want to pop one of those and one of those do they cast whole person? I don't think they do right so that's I'll drink now and as soon as we get into combat I will pop that and hopefully be able to avoid nasty little um, spell effects Come on, I'm bound to encounter you sooner or later. Uh, uh, um, always kill the mouthy one. Yeah. I shall lay the smacketh down with a fireball, and then I will pop my uh, potion. So yeah, you can see. He's a bit on the fast side. Excellent. Right. Guess what, chum? Well, has two thumbs and it's a walking corpse. That guy! Oh, he has... He's using throwing axes. Right. I know what they are, so I'm going to pop them on. Even though it might mean I get hit by his axes a bit more easily. Oh, come on. What are you doing? Just, just fireball the Muppet. Ooh, that's a nice armor. Is there another guy in here? Yes, there is. When in doubt, more fireball. <laughs> yeah. Right. Job, as they say, is a good one. Um. Mm -mm, mm -mm, boom. And we'll do that as well. Right. There are dudes in here who desperately need killing. Okay, can I bash that open? Nope. What about you? Uh huh. And there's a chap up here who will give us information. Yeah, go away. I don't think there's anything terribly interesting in here. We'll loot it anyway.
You know, gold is always good. Mm, can I? No. Nope. Okay then. It will be done. So I will keep the mines for a separate video. I will just sort out the poor suckers guarding the place. And just stop, stop doing that. So we won't go down there quite yet. Uh, what we will do is we will pay one final visit to our friends at the Friendly Arm and get rid of this wonderful uh, gear here that we don't need anymore. And then we will come back and we will um, sort out the Iron Throne operation that will allow us to finally gain entry into Baldur's Gate. So let's have a quick save run for our lives back to the friendly arm you have been by enemies ah yeah come on I, I don't care as long as I don't end up getting poisoned you know You know, another 1300 experience is yeah, always nice for the taking. You have been by Again, really? Oh, lovely. You know, if you're going to drop rings, at least drop ones done. that are valuable. Can we do three in a row? No. Right. Uh, da, da, da. No. Um, but it will be done. Yeah, we've got a few things to identify, haven't we? I'll leave that on until I get into the Temple of Wisdom. Right then. Be done. Better go guide your eye on your travels. Uh, uh I Morning Star plus one. Crappy Madro. Nice little plate mail. Ah, Traveller's Robe. And let's ID those as well. That can go in there. Let 
little goat guide your eye on your travels. And pulse of the cheetah. Yeah. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. So all of that lot can be sold. Yeah. Very nice, lightweight uh, plate armor. Exceptionally good for people like um, Jahira or uh, Branwen Viconia. Okay. No uh, problem. With ease. Let's have a another quick My inn is open to all who fire sale of used goods. One previous owner, very dead. Um, and we will have a you know a nice rest to recover our hit points. Before we zoom back. To the mine. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. Of course. You know, I, I, I still have experience points to... Uh, ground so if you want to keep giving me these uh, cheap XP it's fine by me as they say is a good one and let's finish our journey back to the mine you have been waylaid, by waylaid again Spiny. All right. Another three thousand XP to the good. Will he get waylaid by wyverns? Oh no. Okay. So we just took ourselves again. With ease into the corner just to make sure we don't get um, dis distracted by or interrupted Just take the fire resistance for now. I may swap that for something else in a little while. Okay. Just make sure we're at full health. Have a quick nap. Kill all the mercenaries because. Keep them all on one side so they don't do too much damage.
and again. Lovely. All right, so that hopefully should allow us to get into the mines at full health with all of our spells and ready and raring to go to sort out Davanorn and the rest of his lackeys in the Iron Throne who let's face it deserve, deserve a darn good thrashing um, but that will be in our next video I hope you have um, enjoyed that little uh, speed run through the cloakwood um, and if you haven't well it's your fault for watching your attention as ever is appreciated and uh, i hope to see you next time ta-ta for now